This is the one where we went, uh, we used to have to take turns. We'd pull into base camp, we'd uh, come into a jungle area. And the jungle, again on this video I've got, I've got, we take turns running the lead tank. And the lead tank, we'd bust through the jungle and the canopy was so thick that it was black, I mean dark, it was like nighttime inside. But then we raised the sun coming through, and we took turns to lead tanks. And we'd come to an area, and if we came to an area that was kind of halfway clear, then we'd take our tanks, which were M4883 Patton tanks, and we would bust all that area down and make it complete, just like cowboys and Indians. And it was just, and then all the tanks would be in a circle. And then we would uh, go out just before the sun set, about two or three hundred yards. We'd dig a foxhole, and uh, Buddies, me and Buddy go out there, we dig foxholes, and we made it big enough so we were sit back to back, okay? And we sit back to back, and then we'd uh, <coughs> string our claymore. Once we got the hold of it, we had a claymore mine, we'd strung out, <coughs> curved side out, we strung the wires back to the, to the foxhole, and we set up our M60 machine gun on the tripod, so it was sitting out there. Uh, I had a backpack radio, we set company squelcher on it, to, you know, to company frequency to the uh, tank that would be looking at us at that time and then we would devise our code and our code would be dot dot dash dash dot whatever it would be and it was a red filtered flashlight and then we once we had that all set up at the base camp then we'd head out to the field for the sun set we'd sit in go back as it got darker we'd shoot our code back to the base to the tank to the to the one we were connected with and then they would shoot back to us and in the last effort on the backpack radio, if we didn't respond, then that's what that radio was for, and they'd key it in, and you could hear, ksh, ksh, and if we didn't key it back, you know, and we didn't respond this way, then they would bring that 90 over, drop it down, put a canister around in it, it was about this big, full of, like, uh, razor, about the size of razor pellets and stuff, and they'd blow that area right away, because you were gone, you were taken over, they'd take you over. That's what they assume. They connect with us hour on the hour, but two on, two off on the sleep thing. Two on, two off, and that was, uh, and that's, and if the guy fell asleep, and then this one, and if you had the rain coming on the monsoons, and that water our hole would be filling up, and we had those ponchos on, and it just, and, it, and then all this monkey stuff going on out there, and it got real squirrely, and that's where a lot of guys lost their, not got crazy, got lost. The guy was telling me about the loss of his mind.